क्रिएटिव होम स्कूलिंग इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट द इंपोर्टेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एन एबेकस Now let's learn about its operation. Each of the four beats on the lower of a rod has the value of 1. Why the beat on the upper section of a rod has the value of 5? Each of the one unit beats below the beam obtain its value when it is moved up towards the beam and loses its value when it is moved back down to its former position. On the other hand, each of the five unit beats above the beam obtain its value when it is moved down to the beam and loses its value when it is moved up before using the abacus make sure that all the beats are in the neutral position representing zero this is done by moving up all five unit beats and moving down all one unit beats In clearing the abacus for use, hold the left end with your left middle finger on its upper edge and your left thumb on its lower edge and move all the beads down by slanting the upper edge towards your body. After leveling the abacus again Raise all five unit beats by moving the right index finger from left to right along the upper edge of the beam. When calculating an abacus, use two fingers, the right index finger and right thumb. Some operators use only the index finger, but Experiments show that it is more efficient to use the thumb as well. Nearly all experts use two fingers. Use the index finger to move five unit beads up and down. And to move one unit beads down. But Use the thumb to move one unit beats up. For instance, to set number 7 on the abacus with only the index finger requires two successive motions. First move down a five unit beat and then move up two one unit beats. Whereas These motions can be performed simultaneously with two fingers using the butterfly movement. Moreover, in our everyday actions, we commonly employ two or more fingers. Say picking up something or holding a pen. and the hand is so made that the index finger almost always requires the assistance of the thumb this accounts for the proven fact that in the long run it is much less tiring to operate the abacus with two fingers than with one the best quickest way to acquire skill in abacus manipulation is to use the index finger and thumb in strict accord with the prescribed rules for beat manipulation they should be carefully heeded and practiced many times 
until you can flick your two fingers as nimbly and effortlessly. Another important secret for acquiring rapid skill in abacus calculation is always to keep your fingers close to the beads. Never raise your fingers high from the beads nor put them deep between the beads. Glide the beads up and down by touching the ridges just slightly with the tips of your fingers. When working with the abacus, sit up straight at a desk. A good posture will have much to do with the speed and accuracy of your calculations. Now, Let's see some examples. Set the value to 1. Set the value to 3. Here, you might be wondering how to set the value to 5. As there are only 4 beads here below the beam. It's very easy. This is why we have the upper beads. First, reset the abacus to 0 position. Then, move this upper bead down. That's 5. Very simple, isn't it? Nice! But how about higher values like 6, 7, 8 and 9? Also very simple. Let's set 7. You know how to set 5, right? Let's move this upper bit down. Now we have 5. And setting the higher values is quite easy. This is 6. And this is 7. I recommend to use the butterfly movement for such operations. Now, let's set 7 using the butterfly movement. Now, it's your turn. Set the value to 9. You have 10 seconds to solve this challenge. See that again. In the upcoming classes, we will be doing many more interesting calculations with Abacus. So, get ready. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please do like and subscribe. See you in the next video.